My name is Chris Eliasmith, and I'm the director of the Center for Theoretical Neuroscience here at the University of Waterloo. And I'm in the departments of philosophy and systems design engineering. And my research focuses on understanding how the brain works. That is, how do the billions of neurons in our heads communicate in order to give rise to the amazing array of behaviors that we observe? I think there are two main ways that this kind of research is important for Canadians. The first is that because our models are really based in biology, it gives us a kind of foundational understanding of what happens in the case of malfunction, in the case of disease. A second is how the brain manages to outperform AI. Right now, almost every task of sophistication, brains are able to do better at than machines. And looking at how the brain actually functions gives us some way of trying to extract algorithms that we know can successfully perform these sorts of tasks. And this might really help us realize the promise of AI. One thing I love about my job is the sense of discovery that I get when I figure out the solution to a hard problem. It's a rush like no other. My name is Susan Tai, and I'm a professor at the University of Waterloo in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. I also hold a Canada Research Chair in Sustainable Pavement and Infrastructure Management, an Endowed Research Chair in Sustainable Pavement, and I'm the Director of the Centre for Pavement and Transportation Technology. My work really focuses on improving the design, construction, and management of pavements. My research is really about making roads safer and more environmentally friendly, more cost effective. And that includes runways as well and any kind of airport infrastructure. A lot of people get in their cars or um, go on the airplane and don't realize how much engineering actually goes into what we do.